Hey what's up guys, my name is Brad Kobach, the channel, welcome back to another Duel Links video. Today we had a brand new update to the card trade, adding 3 new cards as well as confirming that about 15 new cards are going to be uh, removed from the card trade on September 11th. So we'll go through those, but first of all, there is a new campaign on. We go to the bottom of this World Championship Celebration Sale, where of course you can buy every set for reduced prices, get free gems. Uh, there's there's some free card sleeves to celebrate the World Championship, as well as it says here, 500 gems. But those 500 gems aren't actually uh, available for us just yet, so that might be in error. It might have meant to just say, you know, uh, the card sleeves. But uh, you can get the card sleeves from your gift box when you log in, and that's what they look like right there. They're just, I believe they're exactly the same as the actual ones you get in the TCG. So, uh, pretty cool they're actually adding these uh, to the full game. But let's go through the cards being removed, first of all, from the card trader. So, I'm not going to go through all of them, because obviously they've been in the game so far, but as you can see, a lot of it is Gemini support, which, uh, you know, makes sense. It's been a deck that's been available since pretty much the beginning of the card trader, and what this basically means is that with our EX jewels in events, we are going to have a lot more options uh, starting, you know, probably in mid-September, if not early October, to uh, be acquiring these cards. So, if you're in really... If you really need these cards, get them now. If you don't, then wait for them to go to uh, the uh, the EX Jewels part of an event. So uh, hopefully they do that. I think they will because obviously right now I think there's like 10 cards maximum they can actually give us. Or maybe like 12 cards maximum they can give us out of all of these uh, Legendary Duels Unlock events. So hopefully uh, that's fine. Of course, we'll probably be seeing the uh, EX Jewels return next week with the uh, Parrot Brothers coming back. So... Uh, be cool to see what rewards we get then. But let's go through the new cards finally for today's update video. The first being Serene Psychic Witch. It says that it's an SR and uh, it's pretty decent. When this card feels destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one Psychic Monster with 2,000 less attack from your deck. During the next standby phase, this card stays in the graveyard. Special summoned the monster banished by this card's effect. So, basically a free summon because not a lot of decks are going to be banishing cards uh, from your graveyard at least not in the meta right now. This also com you know, combines really well with a Human Psychic Borg, I believe it is another Psychic monster. so getting that Banishing support into Psychics is going to be really, really helpful for the deck, and it's just it's just a great search, really, and basically gives you a free monster for your next turn. So, a uh, really good card overall, it allows you to start off with an insane play. When Synchro wants to get into the game, this is going to be very useful for getting a level 4 out on the field straight away to then go into a level 7 sy uh, Synchro monster, but uh, right now it can go into um, Overdrive Teleporter or other things like that to uh, just, just just to enhance the Psychic Archetype. Next, our next SR is Bountiful Artemis, a card that is... I believe it was actually in the Monarch Structure deck when it first came out. Um, but it's a support card for Counter Fairies. Um, each time a Counter Trap card is activated, draw one card immediately after it resolves. So, right now we don't have too many Counter Traps in the game. But uh, the fact they're actually putting in support for this archetype or this this deck theme is really cool because it means we're going to be getting some more support for counter traps in the future. 1600 attack and 1700 defense is nothing too bad to scoff at. Really nice defense. The attack points are a bit on the low side, but if you combine it with um, that field spell we got in the most recent set, the powers of light monster by 500 attack, this guy's going to be a 2100 base monster. So really, really cool card, and of course it's going to see uh, quite a bit of play I think in the very near future. And finally. We have a rare AD changer. Now, this guy I think is really good because you can banish him from the graveyard to target one monster on the field and change his battle position. So, it uh, has a great effect in the graveyard, really, really helpful, and it's just going to help you on your on your turn, you know, to get over an opponent's big boss monster, especially if you sort of set this face down on one turn and let it go to the graveyard, or even if you just discard it from a, due to a card effect activation or you tribute it off for enemy controller, things like that, uh, this guy's going to be uh, quite useful. Not sure how much play it's going to see in the competitive meta, but of course, uh, in casual duels or maybe even in a farming deck, uh, this could probably see some a uh, decent amount of play. Of course, we've still got the Duelathon on, and of, the, of course, the Duel Orbs are still here. Remember, there is a link to the description download to my new channel. Hope you guys can check that out. Uh, thank you for all the support you showed on it. Uh, yesterday, I think I had 64 subscribers to that channel yesterday, so uh, thank you very much for that indeed. But as always, that is it for today's Dawn's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on these new cards and the uh, the cards being retired from the card trader in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.